don't think many people realise just how much of our wildlife and biodiversity we're losing. We're one of the most nature depleted countries in the world. Definitely see there being some quite long lingering shots in this. Love a long lingering shot, yes. Rach. <laughs> Do you ever see the monitors? Oh yes. I love this. So used to just being like itty bitty camera and just running about with it. Just helps you kind of <laughs> see what you're see what you're filming. What you're actually filming instead of getting to the edit and being like, oh that was slightly out of focus. So we're near Inverness at the moment and we're on our first recce shoot for the film Liminal Space, which is a film about Scottish mountain hares and a photographer called Karen Miller who's going to be kind of following them throughout the winter and getting beautiful photos of them. Karen Miller, Liminal Space, interview take one. I didn't even realise how bad the decline had been until speaking to Karen. I knew that they were declining for various reasons. Climate change, culling, I'm already learning so much. Bringing that to people's attention, but also it's about Karen. Her images are really emotive. Look at this baby. Oh. For 200 to 600. Hopefully to get some lovely close-ups of the hairs, meaning we don't have to get too close, uh, but it is heavy. Super excited for today. It is a glorious sunrise, lovely light, and yeah, Scotland is blessing us with beautiful weather. Turn up there and then literally you just follow the road round and it turns into a single track road with little um, speed bumps. Particularly for nature and for biodiversity, lots of people probably don't realise just how bad a situation we're in in the UK. If we can communicate those <laughs> stories and we can communicate the crisis through film, I think that all contributes to everybody trying to create like a positive change. It's lovely, it's brown and white. It's still partly brown. So what we're going to do, I think we'll sit here for just a few minutes, just the group of us, so we can kind of get used to the idea of us being in a hill. So yeah, we found it here. Um, and it's, it's white and brown, so it looks kind of cute. This is where the patience bit comes in, because the last thing we want to do at this stage is spook the hair and have it run if we can help it. Oh no, she's gone. Could you just uh, give us a brief breakdown of what just happened? It's one of those things that, that the hail looked semi-relaxed but not entirely relaxed and it just, it just I think it just decided that, that it wasn't comfortable with, with us being, being here. It, it, every hail has, um, has its safe distance and now we need to go find some more. I feel really tired. Is that a good place to start? Yeah, I feel really tired as well. It's quite tricky terrain up there in the sense that all of the lichen, the white lichen is like super slippery and quite hard going because you're having to be careful where you step and it's quite boggy and, and just, just really rough ground. It's just quite tiring when you're carrying a heavy pack and having to stop every sort of five minutes, put the tripod down and like get the camera out and film and try and think about shots and it was, it was really windy as well so trying to keep the camera still and you know keep the shot stable. I feel like Karen was Legolas and I was Gimli basically. <laughs> I 
think today Karen may have slightly done something that she might not have done on her own, which is go up that hill. Couldn't see the hair for ages and then we saw it and it just... Oh. Obviously we wanted to do things for us in some ways, like, oh, can you just walk there for us a little bit, you know, but I don't want decisions to be made based on the fact that we're there. That's not how I want to work as a filmmaker. So she was like, yeah, don't worry, next time I'm just going to be like, no, we're not doing it. If we were out of sight for too long, you'd disturb them like that. You're, you're disrupting their day and you're disrupting their, you know, I always try very hard not to disturb them. Karen's ethics on photography are just brilliant. She's exactly the kind of person that I would want to be around. The main priority when we're out on the hill is that the hairs are comfortable. That's important for her and for us as well. And we want Karen to feel comfortable. Sometimes you have to sit for the hair for like a couple of hours before it relaxes enough to actually do something. Which is it's quite a long haul. It's much better when you're with someone because you can chat about stuff. I think meeting that gamekeeper today, and he had such strong opinions about how the land should be managed and the reason that hares are dying. It just makes me want to make a film that's way more in depth because I think there's so many conversations to be had. There's lots of ways that film can make a difference. I want to try and use my expertise and experience in any way I can to hopefully affect positive change. A bit frustrating looking for hairs and not being able to find them, but when you actually do find them, you just sit with them in the landscape like this, it's, it's pretty special. <laughs>